Alright, I'm all I'm gonna quit. You know, stop it, Quax. <laughs> I'm shit. not doing anything. <laughs> you're I'm not your head. I'm not I mean, in my head. Yes, I know I, I'm agreeing with you, is all I'm doing. I'm just no, agreeing with agreeing you. You're agreeing with what's going on. <laughs> I know you. Just agreeing. <laughs> Why don't you go get a fly up, you buds? Like everybody's doing that. Anyway. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone to episode five of the casual, comedic, flatulent <laughs> podcast, Smell That, by the Who Farted Crew. Uh, Smell That episodes launch every Tuesday morning, so remember to subscribe on YouTube, follow on your favorite podcast platform, wherever that may be. Uh, also, make sure you're checking out our Reddit, our Smell That podcast, and uh, I'm Nonsense Steve, hosting today. Joined by everyone here today. The band is back together. Fantastic. Uh, find me everywhere at nonsense underscore Steve. And uh, favorite cereal is uh, our our topic today. I'm going to go with uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Josh, how about you? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Josh. Everything is Lone Wolf Josh TV. You can find all my stuff at lonewolfjosh.com. Uh my favorite cereal was a toss-up, actually, between what you just mentioned, mm -hmm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and uh, I'll also mention Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, that's a good one. Yet, good old Fruity Ew. Pebbles. Jeez. So good. Even when it gets soggy, Ew, it's so good. Who gross. says you? That's Come good. on, wax. Cocoa soggy, Pebbles. Why you, want, why you want all that rainbow-flavored milk? Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. For, so, for the rainbow so poop, no obviously. Yeah, oh. don't. It, regardless, it's going to come out green. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, and Fruity Pebbles yeah. are mm -hmm. both good, crunchy or soggy. Mm -hmm. Cocoa Pebbles. How about Cinnamon earwax? Uh, peanut butter Captain Crunch all day long. Oh, that's a good, that's the only that's a, yeah, good one. Cereal good. that you're allowed to eat. Mm -hmm. That's it. Earwax candy. <laughs> Perfect. Said, said that's what I Perfect. said. That's me. Daddy O. Yes. <laughs> Uh, guess and don't say post <laughs> special K or like <laughs> grape nut. No, it's grape nuts. Grape yes. nuts. Brand. Brand. I guess, actually, I got some of those by accident a long time ago, and I just I don't eat it as a cereal, but I put it in uh, granola. Uh, um, in granola yogurt. Yogurt. Oh, okay. Yogurt. It's good. Raisin for, bran. No, no grape, grape nuts. nuts. Grape nuts. <laughs> I, that stuff. Nuts. I don't. It's like. It's since like, well, hey hey, since when does do grapes have nuts? Why? Okay. My, <laughs> grape nuts is like the hardest cereal to eat. It's because it's eating it's gravel. Like, it's gravel. It it's gravel. Yeah. It's, gra it's yeah. gravel. It's gravel snack. But <laughs> the what doesn't what doesn't make any sense to me is that it's it was like advertised to old people so heavily. <laughs> Old people don't have teeth usually. I know. They're like dentures and like eating gum, you know, with their gums. Like, I don't understand how they can chew grape nuts. Why is this person in the ER? Well, she don't have no teeth and she's bleeding out from the gums. Because she Man, did you get punched in the face? No, I ate a bowl of All grape right, well, nuts. Well, you said not grape nuts, but did you say what is oh, your favorite is Oh, no. Do grape nuts come in sacks? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's bag. Like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, it's a bag. Yeah, uh, I would it's say. Uh, I said frosted uh, mini wheats. Okay. Oh, but That's is it the ones favorite. like with the fruit inside of them, like the strawberry? I like those too. Yeah, they can have those. those I are, like those. Ones. Are pretty good. I'll those, eat those, those, but I'll just eat them like plain. Oh yeah, like, you can like, eat them out of, like, the out of the box. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but I eat a cereal. You can eat it like a snack. You know, it's awesome. And my my profit M A Y A N P R O F I T, and I'll use that in a sentence. Sense. Go to <laughs> whofartacrew dot com and follow my and profit there. Fantastic sentence. There <laughs> well, coming up on the show today, we've got Florida or Ohio weird gifts again. More Christmas topics, Advent calendars. But first, Josh, you want to talk about some movies? Yeah, so um, you might hear a little bit of congestion. I still got some uh, some stuff that I've had over the past week. I've been a little sick. So uh, when I get really relaxed and want to just chill when I'm not feeling well, I kind of kick on some, uh, some underappreciated movies that people probably don't watch at all 
or or maybe not have have not seen at all or, or anything like that and um i was kind of curious what uh what kind of underappreciated movies do you guys like that you could watch on repeat that never get old and some of mine i usually it's and you might laugh at me for this the first oh. one i have a couple all right we're going first to one laugh, eh? first one is fool's gold uh-huh. with matthew mcconaughey Nope. Um, I, I love that movie because just because it's like got that tropical feel, it's got kind of like a, a fun, like he's looking for this buried treasure kind of thing. And it's just a nice, it's a, it's a nice movie to just keep watching. I don't know. I watch it all the time. And, I don't know. And Marianne gets sick of it. <laughs> it's like, I love it. And it's got I know Kevin who Hart in it. Is. It's got Kevin Hart in it too. Um, uh, Goldie Hawn's daughter. Wait, is that where they, oh, no, they got a Captain, boat or... Captain Ron or something? Maybe. Oh, that's one too. That so what is he? One. Is he just like all right, all right, all right? Treasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, that, that, like, that, that is honestly that, that is the vibe he has okay. in that movie. He's he they're they're down in like the Keys or something or the Bahamas or whatever, yeah. and they're looking for they're this looking like for old wreck, Spanish right? yeah this old Spanish shipwreck this that's got all this buried treasure, and he's like devoted his life to it. Yeah, and he brought her into it as well. His his wife that ended up they were like going through a divorce and stuff and then they did yeah it was it's all part of the movie but gotcha. it's it's like if you think about it the the matthew mcconaughey vibe is strong in that movie like he in the most of the movie he's running around barefoot if you think <laughs> like sure. yeah. in, the, in the bahamas like or the keys or something um so that's one of them that's one of my movies i got a, i got two more things so one of them is top secret which was oh. Val Kilmer's like first movie. It's by the makers of Airplane, so it's got like all that like crazy humor. <laughs> He's a, Val Kilmer plays like this uh, this like Beach Boys type of singer, and he goes over <laughs> to to Keith like, surfing. <laughs> yeah, it's got, and he did all the music himself in that movie oh, yeah. too. So he goes over to Germany for this like. Uh, music tour or something this like international tour and it's during like you know nazi germany and stuff and so he becomes like part of the underground and it's 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 just a hilarious movie that has all that like airplane funny humor in it and it's like it's it's i think it's his first movie i think that was his first movie i know the Um, old guy was the guy that played uh alfred and batman when he played batman (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that yeah, the, he had a lot of really really funny scenes in that. Um, the next one is National Treasure. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's that's maybe not so underappreciated. Maybe that's heavily appreciated. National I, Treasure I with Nicolas Cage. <laughs> uh, I, I yeah, also love National Treasure, but I get a lot of crap for it. So. You get a lot of crap for it. Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. Mo- most people that I know don't appreciate the the Nicolas Cage ness of that movie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a it, it's a good movie. It's just the fact that the the puzzle solving is is I think yeah. my thing. And like the American history stuff is I, really interesting. I was gonna say I have a problem with that movie. Just one part at least. It's when they they go to catch uh, what's his face in front of the North Church. Yeah, that, that's not the North Church. That's not wherever they caught him from. That's not. That's not where they. That's not where they filmed it. They filmed it somewhere else because we were there. It's not wide enough. <laughs> it's not wide enough. And there's a nice coffee well, shop across the street too. It was dark in the scene. Like I think they shot. That yeah, but it's like so houses on both sides. <laughs> Daddy wrote George Lucas a, an email back in the seventies <laughs> and complained that uh-huh. they didn't film Star Wars in space. He's like, it's not actual space. <laughs> no, I, I call I was Stanley Kubrick when he made two thousand and one. I said that don't look real. <laughs> and and one more. What my last? This is my last one. Uh, Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah, yeah. My God. I don't even like NASCAR. I hate NASCAR. Don't like it at all. But that movie, there's just something about that movie. 
No, he didn't. He didn't hit you. He he rubbed you. Yeah, rub and rubbing racing. son is racing. Rubbing's racing. <laughs> so that's mine. If you I like your right, so paint. What kind of Man, underappreciated movies you got? This is a hard one for me because like I don't really wa- rewatch a lot of movies. Now there's always <laughs> movies on TV that are replayed because I have children, um, and I can watch Cars more than once. But I've got to the point now where I've memorized wow. the script. So like Wow. Um, majority out of here for three days, you know? So like <laughs> I mean there's yeah, there's That's a real good one it, though. It's a good movie, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there's movies I've liked, but I don't Ka-chow. know. I don't really like go back and rewatch movies. Like I, yeah. I tried I tend to try to watch something new all the time. You're um, going for quantity. I then. could watch Anything Sasha Baron Cohen over again, though. Oh, yes. That's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, it doesn't matter. So, Dick, like, Talladega Nights? Dictator. Yeah, Talladega Nights is one of mine. <laughs> it's just oh, sick. God, Great. it's so good. Dictator. Just say really, really, Bora really thin movies, pancakes. Like, nope, you know. everybody will know what I meant. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah. What about Sweeney Todd, then? You like Sweeney Todd? I don't, think, that? I don't know this if I've seen that. my wife, one. Jeffrey. <laughs> so, <laughs> wasn't Sweeney Todd with um, Johnny uh, Depp? Johnny Depp. And oh, yeah. His, what's the the chick's name? His, was it his, uh, Helena Bonham Helena Carter? Bonham. Yeah, I don't like her name? that much. I She's really? a it's hard tremendous for me. Yeah, actress. It's hard for me to watch her. There's some roles that she gets. She's fantastic. Good. Yeah, I... I I like I like all of his character actor stuff, so you know. Not up for the musicals then, I guess. I don't like musicals. <laughs> not not so much. No. I've not seen Hamilton. Oh. Good movie. I haven't um, seen that either, to be honest. I, I haven't seen Book of Mormon. What Although I have the way <gasps> I have seen um oh, what's the movie that uh the musical that Trey Parker and Matt Stone did about the cannibals? You guys remember this one? Um, God, the Donner Party stuff. It was like a musical about the Donner Party. Ooh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I, rem- I, mean, I know it, but I didn't see it. Ah, dang it. Anyways, I, I'll, I'll find it. Somebody put it in the comment section. Yeah, was, <laughs> yeah right. Like, that was. It's called Donner Party the Musical, I think. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was yeah. spot on, man. Nice. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's it or not. Donner Party it. of Eight. <laughs> I don't think that's it. That's something different, maybe. Donner Party of Two now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I don't know. Like I said, I just don't. I don't rewatch. I mean, all the movies you listed, I've, I've, I think I haven't seen Fool's Gold. I don't think, but like for the most part, I've seen all of them. They're okay. It's good. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a, I watch, watch. watch the Fool's Gold. It's, it I think it's called, on Max. It was called Cannibal well, the Musical okay. in 1993. You made a mistake, Josh. You said that Kevin Hart's in it's it, pretty, so that means Earwax is not going to watch this. Yeah, he's the, he's the bad like guy. I like Kevin Hart. You're the one that doesn't like Kevin Hart. What? I love Kevin Hart. Mm. I, I want to be his son. He he. Yeah, he's, uh, he does little, great in that movie. Little, you're a little big to be his son. I don't care. He's yeah, it's small. on Max. If you guys want to watch it, it's tiny, on Max. Tiny man. Fool's What's Gold. That? Uh, National Treasure 1 and 2 just came out on Hulu, by the way. Nice. I, I was going through. I just saw it tonight. I didn't you watch it. I, I saw that it was out. Kate Hudson is the, Kate Hudson, is the yeah. lady in there. Yeah, yeah I said daughter. that. Yeah. But yeah. Did, anyways, this anyway. is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to Fool's Gold. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. I don't know. <laughs> Daddy O. He likes all that stuff. Last Starfighter. Oh, that's a good Last one. Last Starfighter. You know, and the only reason why is because when HBO came out, that was like every other... They play The Last Starfighter, then another movie, then The Last Starfighter, and another movie <laughs> through the 24-hour schedule that they had. Um, another one I posted in uh, Twitter... I'm going to call it Twitter. I don't care. Anyways, the one I posted on Twitter, I said, I am watching an enjoyable Christmas movie. Rudy. <laughs> I'll Rudy. watch that over and over. Rudy. Yeah. Rudy. A cr- Christmas Rudy. movie, Rudy? No, that's what I said, and just to get somebody to say something. But Oh, I was like, what? I mean, it was on. What? It came on after, like, 
was it for no it was that on after national lampoon's christmas vacation it's like wait what this ain't no christmas movie <laughs> <sighs> there was another one i was thought of when you guys were talking i forgot about it so but yeah what's it called yeah. dementia <laughs> no i saw that um. it's horrible it's got <laughs> what's that guy the guy that played hannibal lecter that's what no that wasn't dementia it was called something else but slope shine or something i don't know who cares it was horrible don't watch it don't even look it up don't even look up his name and look for the movie because it's about a guy that didn't know what was going on whether it was real or fake and it just kept on all right i'm all i'm gonna quit if you don't stop it wax you piece of <laughs> i'm shit. not doing anything <laughs> you're I'm not your head i'm not I in my head you're doing bull- yeah, I know I, to... I'm agreeing with you is all I'm doing. I'm just no, agreeing with you. You're agreeing with what's going on. <laughs> like, I know you. Just agreeing uh, with you. Why don't you go get a fly up your butt? Seems like everybody's doing that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's... <laughs> that is out I don't know. Content, that's... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, true. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll find out in the next couple of episodes. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways. Stay tuned. <laughs> I can't. That's the only ones I can what think of. What a teaser right that is! I'm sure I can interrupt Steve whenever I think of it. So, oh, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Talladega Nights is a good one. Uh, Wax mentioned yeah. Trey Parker and Matt Stone uh, basketball. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Oh, movie. that's what it was. Basketball. That's good. Um, just good. what Major a ridiculous League. concept for a movie, too. Major League and Major the replacements. League. Um, it's another one. That is so weak, man. How am I going to get a chick in there? <laughs> <laughs> I love basketball. I'm also a big uh, Nick Swordson fan, too, though. So. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Grandma's Boy, that's a good one. Yeah, I get told I sound like him a lot. What mm-hmm. was the one where they had, they were playing against children's teams, four of them? You remember that? Nick Swordson was in that, but he hit oh, on the uh That was bench warmers. Bench warmers. warmers. Where he's, yeah. yeah, he won't come outside. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. like hiding in a cabinet somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and they taped the back. Yeah, did he have a hands. bowl cut in that too? Yeah, he had yes, a bowl he cut. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Like a... <laughs> that then, was a um, hard bowl cut too. <laughs> one that me and the kids watch all the time is uh, Pixels. Yep. It's another oh, Adam Sandler yeah. one. Been watching that that's a lot a lately one. too. Yeah. Kevin James because is the it, president. And you've got the aliens yeah. that are shaped <gasps> like '80s arcade yeah. villains. And my yeah, youngest is cool. big into Pac-Man. It's like the only movie that I can find that's Pac-Man because he don't want to watch yeah. the Pac-Man cartoon from the '90s because it's yeah, it's not the same. So crappy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's crappy. Yeah, th- those would be. Idi- I thought of another one, Idiocracy. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You have to keep re really watching that because stuff that's coming true in the movie, it's just like <laughs> you wait a couple of years, you play it. Oh my god, that came true too. It's got what plants need. Brondo. <laughs> Electrolytes. <laughs> Electrolytes, yeah. Wait, what's it? It's what, what plants crave, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, to- water? That? You mean like from the toilet? <laughs> 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 That's, I love that movie. It's a great movie. Terry Crews is the president. What's his name? Macho something. I have no idea. I don't remember. Oh, that's going to, yeah. Uh-huh. Put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah put, put it in, in the comments. Put it in the comments. Because... We're, we're, we're making the listeners work this week. That's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that's good for movies. Wax. What do you All got? Right. So, I, Christmas is coming. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, December 1st rolled around, and my kids are like, we need to get our advent calendars. And I'm like, ah, this is awful, right? Do you, I'm, do you guys do advent calendars? Yep. I always thought yeah. that was like a Catholic thing. We never did that for, uh, you know, Josh. And, like, yeah, we didn't. I didn't do it growing up either. But, yeah. like, I know, you know, obviously they make them for everything, right? They yeah. make meats and cheeses. I see beer and wine. There's, like, yeah. all these different There's advent tons. calendars, right? Pokemon cards. So the wife and I were talking about this the other day, and her idea was, like, why do they only do it for Christmas? And I went, holy shit, that's a great idea. Think about it. 
you could like start October 1st and give a piece of candy every day until October 31st. And then you don't have to go trick or treating. Save yourself a trip outside, right? Because now your kids can you just dump all that candy in their bucket. Done. Done. Even better. And then wait, what no, hang you... on. No, wait, I, uh, I can take this stuff. For, hang on real quick. Hang on. Hold <laughs> thought. You go oh, trick or treating. It. You hold, you go trick or treating. <laughs> You take that candy and you load it into cardboard holes in a box. And now you've got stuff ready for Thanksgiving and possibly even Christmas from the candy they got from going around the neighborhood. Boom. So it's more of a frugal idea to not have oh, to shit. buy an, an advent calendar. Well, shit, I didn't think about it that way. But like, <laughs> but, cal- but the thing is, the advent calendar is only 25 or 24 days, right? Mm-hmm. October 31st, Halloween, that's a whole month. That's 30. That's 30 mm-hmm. days right there, you know? And then every year you're going to have to make a new one for Thanksgiving because it's never on the same day of the month, right? Yeah. It's always that Thursday, but, like, it's never, like, the same number. Of kind days. of short if turnaround you, from New Year's. If you're doing Eve Halloween, off. why don't you throw in tricks, too? Oh, just, so like when you open it up, you're like you don't know if it's gonna like be a, a treat or a trick, or like a mouse mm-hmm. trap, and it's like stop. <laughs> snap, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or or you just like putting your like finger in in like uh, like oyster sauce or something, and you pull it out, and you're like, oh, oh, like or a fart balls. spray. So wait, yeah. so it's like a what if it's like a bean boozled situation? No, exactly. Yeah. Be- Where exactly. it's always bean a jelly bean. Just make but it's, Halloween as sometimes it's good and sometimes it's terrible. But That's... don't make a jelly bean. Make it a like a starkest shape uh, square. So when you buy into it, it's like more than just a little bit. It's just oh, uh, you so you're talking about like where it's like something that gets stuck to your teeth. Like yeah, <laughs> so you can't like a, get oh, oh my like god, a sh- like a shit flavored fruit chew. Yes. You can't just spit it out like you do the jelly beans. It's stuck in there. Yeah. You're gonna have to work to get it out, right? <laughs> but seriously, gonna, like, wh- yeah. so then I got so then or I started if you open doing open it up and it's spiders. <laughs> oh. So spiders I, I, I started out. doing the research. I'm like, why is well I guess Advent is some sort of time before Christmas and Christianity yeah. and mm-hmm. religion stuff. And so I was like, Oh, that sucks. So maybe we need to call it something else. I don't know what to call it though. Okay. That's why I'm gonna leave it up. To oh you guys. Oh, God! You're, you <laughs> set us up there, and I was like, "Oh, he's probably got the craziest <laughs> idea <laughs> ever." I did. I and actually I was just, just thought of it. this, so I, I don't really. I I could I could probably come up with something, but like, Smell I don't know. You later man. days. Can, candy box explosion for your <laughs> face or something. I have no idea. Oh like, my god! It's, I don't know. So yeah. like that's. Yeah, I was gonna say it'd be a short turnaround for a uh, New Year's Eve advent. Yeah, New Year's Eve right. advent would. So you just count. double up in no, the boxes. There's one for the entire <laughs> year. You start it on January first. It's 365 boxes oh to open. God. 364 because you can't do it on the last day, right? 364 boxes to open, except for leap years. So then, I, you know what? Screw it. You do one that's 365 boxes to open, yeah. January first to January or December 31st, right? Done. The years that have leap years, you're covered because you get it the day before. You don't even have to or, create one that's got the extra day. You could do a leap year advent. So you you start in the first day of you know leap year and then keep going until the next leap year. Oh, God, it's just like, like two, is it two years, every two years? So like 900 years? things to open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like this thing gets this delivered on a pallet. Oh and yeah, like, you know, like 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 in uh, like a freighter, uh, like in a Christmas story. Whenever the pal- the crate shows up, and he yeah. has a lamp, the leg lamp thing, <laughs> kind of like that. Like you get it out, and you're like, oh, and the kid's like, "What is it?" It's like it's an advent calendar for the next <laughs> four years, and like it just like set it down somewhere. It's got all these like boxes. It looks like the uh, the card catalog at a library with all the drawers <laughs> on it. You know, like. You could do oh, you could awesome. do shorter ones too. So you could that's do like work. you you could do a fourteen day one in February for yeah, Valentine's ex- Day. Exactly. There's one every month because it's always yeah. on the fourteenth. There's Saint Patrick's Day. You could, uh, you could oh. do one on June twentieth till Fourth of July, and put just like little sparklers or 
America garbage in each one of them. Why June twentieth? <laughs> it's first day of summer. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the first like I you know, calendar I didn't, day you know, of I summer. Didn't, okay, I. And then it would be fourteen Technical. days still. Gotcha. Okay. St. Patrick's Day yeah. is a good one, though. I like so, yeah, on the seventeenth, you get a <laughs> shot of whiskey. They do have. It's just the little bottles. By the yeah. Way. It's yeah. The little, oh yeah. It's, beer, it's like the little sample bottles from the liquor store, and you just <laughs> oh. just two weeks worth of those the, in there. The airplane. The Jameson bottles. twenty-five. At the John, end. are you are you drunk at work? Is my advent calendar? <laughs> advent calendar. Yeah, I fell a couple <laughs> days behind. I had to catch up. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so what's uh what I guess another question would be what kind of things would you like to see in an advent calendar that they don't typically put in them now? They put so much stuff in it. They put calendar. everything know, in right? it. Yeah. Be hard like to... uh, like I said earlier, mentioned real quickly, Pokemon cards. Like mm-hmm. they they have yeah. a whole advent calendar of Pokemon cards. And Can you get anything good like, out of it though? Yeah, it's just it's yeah. just a whole ca- advent calendar of booster packs. Oh. Yeah, so you just rip open a day, you take it out of the package, and that's your booster pack. That's for the for the day. Mm. It's awesome. I wanted to do it for Wyatt, but we, uh, you know, we settled for chocolate. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, like I said, growing up, I feel like advent calendars weren't as popular as they are now. Yeah. Like, like the card companies got together and said, "We need to make more money." How do we add more? You know what I mean? I feel like that had something like Hallmark is is to blame for all of this nonsense with advent calendars. But we've done them with like the Funko Pops yeah. where you get a different little mini Funko Pop every day. We've done them with Lego yeah, where you get Legos. where you get uh, either the different mini figs. We had that one one year and then we had one where you got a different tiny little set. Yeah, that's what. So every day you had to build a little scene. I don't know if they still do the minifig ones. I don't I think seen so. Seen those the last few years. Yeah. Good. So, you say but, good? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Good. But yeah, it, it would be hard Still to have something they don't already s- have since they know, already right? have so many things. Yeah. Those things I, are stupid. I'm just kidding. I see them above your shelf over there. So I and a, I also I think it would be one of those where it's like a um a Kleenex tissue situation where you would always call it an advent calendar no matter what name you gave it because that's that's just the the one that started it or the most popular even though its technical name would be something else for halloween yeah yeah Yeah. so real quick Mm -hmm. for advent calendars what number do you start with what do you mean? Number twenty five. Number one, don't you? So they the date. No, you twenty five, then you go down. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <Nuh-uh. laughs> so uh Marianne for for like her whole life has started at twenty five. Are you and, serious? And just really? like last year or something, like year a year ago or two years ago, maybe I was like I finally asked her, like I was like why do you do it like that? And she's like, what do you mean? I've done this my whole life. I'm like, it's a calendar. You start at number one. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait, <laughs> if it was called Christmas countdown box, <laughs> right. maybe you'd start at 24, 25. Yeah. But it's like, one of those. It literally has <laughs> the word calendar in its name. Right. But that's what's right. interesting, too, because on all of those, it's always the advent calendar and number one is at the top and you work your way counting yeah. down to 25 like a calendar so if yeah. you've been so, going backwards then you're starting at the bottom and working your way up in reverse <laughs> that doesn't make any there, sense there are some of them that that they're like random, so for the yeah. kids yeah they're they're like you have to All find over the, the numbers place. and stuff okay yeah. so is, uh, but like <laughs> It was just one of those things where she, <laughs> where I knew it was like a life changing conversation for her because <laughs> she was she like didn't understand that like you had when to Josh start at asked one. Asked me first, they go, "Are you effing with me? You screw it with me." She don't. Do I because I'm just, I was just curious because I know there's. Uh, I, I'm, she's not the only one that that does that, right? There's oh, got there's got to yeah. be other people that yeah, yeah. start at twenty five, and. I'm like, am I the only one that starts at one? Am, am, am I the crazy so, one? 
<laughs> is the last one that has the best thing in it, or is it? It's like the if you start out one, just all, it's just chocolate that has like different like icons or something. So I mean, on it, it doesn't like get little... like flavored or you know bigger pieces. There's, or there's stuff that has know? it's it's like I don't know. It's, it's it's there's some that have different like candies or. But I mean, it doesn't like shooter ones, get you know? better. <laughs> I mean, well, usually the longer you go, the bigger it gets. The ones that we've done, it's just like simple chocolate. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the ones that we've done, it's just basically chocolate, you know? Well, like or when you we got did one... one for the kids that was like the Harry Potter little Funko figures, and it was like oh. the last three days were Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Oh, um, okay. They were So it was That's more good. rewarding. Right yeah. at the end, right. you would think that. Yeah. So if you jump in at twenty five, like everything else is gonna be this. <laughs> so, yeah, you just be certain. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. You've got, got Harry Potter characters. from the jump, and you're like, all right, we did it. <laughs> all right. That's what I came here for. <laughs> I I always have to ask that anytime somebody brings up advent calendars because I'm like, I, I I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she does she still do it that way? No, no, she doesn't oh. do it anymore. <laughs> oh, you ruined it. She, but, but now she'll always, like, uh, <laughs> you know, sarcastically bring it up, you know? <laughs> or she'll, like, give me shit about it. And I'm like, why are you giving me shit? You were doing it wrong this whole time. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Way to ruin the Christmas smears, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's stuff like that where I just, like, ask questions. Like, so, so it, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just, like, why do you do it like that? Or what, do, what, what is, you know what I mean? I'm just asking a question as to why, like, what is the logic behind that? And she, yeah. I funny. completely understand. Yep. I, I don't even want to go into it, but I completely understand. <laughs> like, we can literally do an entire podcast episode of the shit that I deal with. Oh. <laughs> like, that's what yeah. I completely understand. Like, I don't mean it, like, condescendingly or anything. Yeah, no, I, I, there's a lot of the times I just generally want to know, like, what what yep. somebody is thinking about why they did that, you know? Yes, not... potato candles. <laughs> I mean, oh, like... dear God. <laughs> yeah. No. We yeah. will get into it someday. That's holiday <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> like, I feel there have like... been so yeah. many teasers in this episode. Let me tell you. <laughs> someday. Yeah. I feel someday. like I feel like potato candles could be a weird gift for Christmas, wouldn't you say, Daddy O? That oh, would be yeah. an interesting advent calendar for, for sure. You. Potato candles. Potato yeah. scented candles. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of weird gifts, um, I found this Huff, Huff Post forty-five. Uh, Weird Christmas gifts, sure to please your favorite fruitcake. And I think that kind of fills us all right here. But, um, what was it? I was re reading through this stuff, and it's not, it's kind of, I don't know if it's just gifts or it's just stuff that you'd have around, like decorations and stuff. But I was looking through this, and what does it say? You're doing all the weird things anyway, so add some weird shopping to your activities. And here, here's one magical, or musical toilet paper rolls. So you put them on the roll, and when you pull them, it plays Christmas music. <laughs> They've got like um, six different... I feel like this is an extension to what we talked about in episode yeah. four, which was the yeah. oddball uh, gift ideas, which is, it's, it's 45 more... On this Huff Post article, they put down a whole bunch more, and one of them oh. is a toilet snake that I'm oh, looking yeah. at right now. That's... Where it's like, <laughs> it looks like if you put, I, does is it sitting on something on your toilet? It looks it's, like it's, it's sitting. It's like a plastic piece that you put on top. It's a, you know what I mean. Like it's a, a brown. Clear... It's a brown snake that's like raised up. That looks like <laughs> yes. it's, it and looks like poop, but you... it's it's yeah. a snake. But you pull up the lid and it'll pop up. Just why would you have people shitting on your floor before they can get to the toilet? I didn't know it popped up. I didn't know you put it there yeah, and it popped no, up yeah. like that. I thought somebody just set it there. <laughs> but it's like oh, a, it's got like a like suction like, cups, just suction cup to the inside, and then like it. I went to the website. It's thirty bucks. 
Um, Is it? It's not a, like a, <laughs> yeah, hey, all right. Thirty That's not dollars. Bad. Yeah, I, I only ordered two of them. Um, so it's got there's an interesting. Oh, there's one suction cup that goes to the top of the lid with the string attached to it where its head is. Okay. If you, if you look really closely oh, yeah, in the yeah, photo, yeah. you can see that. Yeah, I guess. And that. that's what pulls, it, pulls it, up. it up. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, man. that's you hilarious. passed over the one good one though. Is bacon there's what there, there's paper. one. Poop soap on a rope is what I'm looking at. Oh yeah, at right that's now. that's definitely going in Wax's stocking. I'm gonna year. I'm gonna tell you right now, people. <laughs> it's got some nuts in it. I'll just say that. It looks like what? it's got some nuts in it. Hey. It looks listen. funky and it looks like somebody All had right. some corn, maybe. Peanuts and corn <laughs> kernels are oh. stronger than we ever imagined. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's got to include poop. Uh -huh. All these gift uh, ideas always. have to include some kind of poop. I like what it says. <laughs> when it comes to getting clean, nothing beats the experience of bathing with a piece of soap designed to look like Dookie. It does. It does. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, you got no, that's a stocking stuffer there. You know. But make sure you put the string down inside the stocking so when they grab it, it's I feel like these are better than the ones that I had on, on my article. Nothing beats the che there's cheese carving. Up. There's cheese carving of a cell phone. Why would you need that? Why, Why would you would you <laughs> eat it? You, what you are you what, what are you doing with Why that? Why don't you look at the next one on that list? The, wait, this lady is holding it up like she's <laughs> oh, yeah. talking on it. It's cheese, lady. It's <laughs> cheese. It's, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually a phone. We gonna talk about the next one on the list there? No. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. I I was I almost uh, no. for those of you that would like to know, check out the Huff Post article that we posted in the comments. Mm -hmm. There, here's one: the oh, toothbrush God. that gets all the teeth at once. So it looks like a mouthpiece that the football players put in. But God, you know, football. that would be great for, like, my kids and stuff. I mean, it's hard enough to get them to brush their teeth. <laughs> but, like. That's for lazy people. So uh, have you seen these ones for pets where it's, like, one? On, it's like on each side? So you can get on the inside and the outside oh, yeah. of the teeth at the yeah, same yeah. time. So, like, we bought yeah. that the other day. But then, like, it came with its own toothpaste. And mm -hmm. I was like this is interesting it's like tuna flavored or something and what and my like, dog i'm like well it's for the cat and i'm oh, like yeah i wonder what happens if i swap out one of the kids' tubes of toothpaste with it <laughs> if they would like accidentally use it and then kind of <laughs> <laughs> make, so sure, there, make sure there you may be a, a tiktok video coming out <laughs> soon oh, of, yeah of my children. Oh, uh, oh, how can you pass that up? That's probably Hulk some sort slippers. of like. <laughs> they got Hulk Hogan slippers. <laughs> he's Still ripping off his brother. shirt. He's he's got oh, little hands that are ripping off his shirt on the front. Feel the power, brother. It's terrible. There's another one in here. Okay, oh, so have the... you, there's an eye massager. Have you guys seen these eye massagers? We almost bought Dude, one the amazing. other day. We almost bought one the other day. They were on like they were on like super sale during Black Friday. And I'm like, it's got really bad reviews. It's, it's I talked her out of it. But I was like <laughs> I I'm like, I don't I wonder what it actually does. They got uh Meowy Christmas prank guest cards, so when you open it up and it plays the music and when you close it, it keeps playing until the battery runs out. And when you go to pull the battery out, there's a bunch of uh, glitter in it. Yep. So, I mean, why would you I send was, that shit to somebody? I was going to send one of those to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 sort to of God, I was going to send this to you like a, year, like a year or two ago. Like, I, I had this all planned out. I was going to send, I think, for your birthday. And you know what song it was going to play? <laughs> it's on the table. No, no, <laughs> so, no. I knew that was that was going up. <laughs> I'm going hungry. I'm going hungry. <laughs> oh, here's a helpful book: is passing gas in class. I was just gonna mention that that's perfect for our show. Passing mm -hmm. gas in class. Yeah. Is your oh. family raising a stink about your incessant insistence on reading? Twas the night before Christmas. <laughs> It might be a nice holiday tradition, but a book about the hazards of pu 
public flatulence <laughs> may seem more contemporary to some of your loved ones. And help. Passing gas in class. That's good. And then a 12 days of IPA beer set. There yeah. you that go. I don't like ACDC IPAs. ACDC beer. ACDC um, beer. I think that's all the ones. Being weird book, that's uh, probably something that we should all read. Yeah, that's about it, though. But yeah, it? <laughs> it's definitely the the poop on a rope. It's got to be the best one out of these. I don't know. God, the poop on a rope. I still think the middle finger duck is probably the best thing we've seen so <laughs> it's, far. It's just a molding of somebody's finger, like hand <laughs> with their middle finger up, and then it's painted white, and it has like a little duck <laughs> beak on it. I don't want to flip off the camera because we're on YouTube too. I have no problems yeah. with it. Yeah. <laughs> That's something that people in Florida or Ohio would buy, I think. That's right. Where people you know near. What. what do you think, Steve? Well, thanks, Daddyo. I think it's time <laughs> that we play America's favorite game, Florida or Ohio. I will give you gentlemen a ridiculous story. You need to tell me, did it come from the state of Florida or the state of Ohio? Is everybody prepared to play? Oh, I think Wax has an unfair advantage to a. I'm ready. <laughs> he's he's been training for this i've been training for this for five years all right a 44 year old woman was arrested monday and charged with two counts of misdemeanor assault after attacking two mcdonald's employees she said refused to make her a slushy according to an incident report from the police department officers were dispatched to a mcdonald's monday at about 9 40 a.m a preliminary investigation revealed that the woman went to the fast food restaurant to buy a slushy and asked the employees to mix all three available slushy flavors together. When the workers said they could not do that, she allegedly became irate and went behind the counter to make the slushy herself. When the McDonald's manager attempted to block her path, he was punched. Another employee was able to move the woman away from the workspace but was also punched in the right eye. The second employee was then able to wrestle her to the ground. Both workers suffered minor injuries and were advised to seek medical treatment. The woman was then detained by police. So, Josh, I ask you, Florida or Ohio? Um, I'm gonna give my answer, but I'm gonna, can I, can we circle back as to why I picked this answer? Sure, yeah. Okay, I'm going to pick Ohio. All right, daddy of Florida or Ohio? I was going Florida for the longest time, but uh, I'm going to pick Ohio just because of what, how you explained what happened. Okay, how it eventually so, went down? Yeah. Okay, Wax? I, was say, I actually, I, I also was going to pick Ohio too, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Ohio. You want to explain your reasoning now, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I did. I didn't want to like you know. You didn't want to influence everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I. So, the reason why I picked Ohio is because it sounds too sensible, right? <laughs> In F Floridian stuff, it it is just too bad. It at least to me is too bad shit crazy things like that sounded like okay. It is a little acceptable to be mad that you can't mix three different <laughs> kinds of slushies. Maybe a little bit unreasonable that you went back and punched somebody in Started the face. assaulting people, yeah. <laughs> but understandable that you'd be upset about that, you know? Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Yeah, tell I kind of answer. figured. That's, that's what I figured. Because you said it was a, did they say what age she was? 44. 44. That makes sense because she, if she's not going to get what she wants, she's going to go behind the counter. <laughs> and the people behind the counter can't, you know, detain a 44 year old lady. <laughs> you know, that's not Florida because, you know, that, yeah, it's kind of the same reason. So, all right. A woman cool. is accused of attacking McDonald's workers over a slushy in Ravina, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. It's like you think well you think of Florida, it's like bath salts and like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, shoving oh a small God. creature up so, somebody's butt or something, you know, like it's, I, it's I knew it wasn't like Florida when you said he, that she punched someone in the face as opposed to biting off their nose. <laughs> 
Right. <laughs> yeah. There was no alligator if, mentioned. If, like, though. if yeah, if if, you, if she had like ripped someone's ear off and eaten mm-hmm. it, then yeah, we're in Florida. But sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> up yours, so, Colombo. We figured it out. Given that story, uh, do you guys have a restaurant, either like an entire chain or just a specific location that you refuse? to dine at because of the poor customer service like this lady uh, encountered where she assaults <laughs> people at a McDonald's. Uh, for me, my example, I love Wendy's. Wendy's is fantastic. I was so excited when they had a Wendy's built like five minutes from my house. I have been there four times. They have never gotten my order right once. And it's not even like it's a complicated order. It's a junior bacon cheeseburger. And they've never gotten that correct. It's always different toppings. Did you say chicken sandwich? I don't even <laughs> like we got, I ordered a junior bacon cheeseburger and it came back with cheese and tomato. And that was it. The, this oh. isn't even close. You're not <laughs> even put in the mayonnaise in, They put mayonnaise in your coffee. <laughs> it's like, what, what are you people doing? So yeah, anything like that? I, I have, yeah. So I'm, uh, as we discussed before, I'm a big fan of Taco Bell. Um, Taco Bell. There's, there's like three of them near us, and the the one north of us I will not go to, because again they get you they get your order wrong every single time. Yep. And one time Marianne went there, they, they said that they ran out of beef and cheese. Taco Bell ran nice. out of beef and cheese. Like, how the hell does Taco Bell run out of the two things that you should have? Oh, I can top it. So, so we go to a different different one. But. My wife, Ashley, was pregnant with our youngest. And she was like, you know what? I'm craving mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC. I was oh. like, okay, that's fine. So it was like 9 o'clock at night. I drive to the nearest KFC and I said, all right, can I get like whatever it was? It was a three piece combo or something with mashed potatoes and gravy. And they said, oh, sorry, we're out of chicken <laughs> at a KFC. I've, I've had that we're out of chicken at a KFC. <laughs> I've had them tell like, me they don't. What have do you have? Gravy. I've got biscuits and sides, but no <laughs> chicken. <laughs> I got packets of honey, dude. I don't know what to tell you. man. <laughs> yeah. Wax, how biscuits. about you? Um, there's not like a red, I mean, yeah, I get bad service all the time, but I don't, I don't ever not go back mm-hmm. to like fast food. I mean, there's been restaurants we've been to Sure. They, they, and I wasn't, I mean, like we went to this Mexican place when we first moved here that was like, oh, it's the best Mexican place. I went in there and like, literally like there was food still stuck to the silverware that wasn't oh, mine yeah. there was like oh. and i'm like okay yeah this, like, that happens at my house too but like everybody's and then it was, it was almost <laughs> like we were eating at someone else's <laughs> table <laughs> like, yeah it's that's oh right. the 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 salsa literally it was like they cut a tomato in half and just kind of plopped a tomato into a bowl <laughs> and then dumped some juice on top of it i mean it was like there was like this huge chunks of of tomato, I mean, it wasn't. I don't know. It just wasn't a great restaurant. You know what I mean? The the tortilla shell had weird spots on it. Like they were like like wet or dried out or something. I don't know. It was just. It's just. It, yeah. Oh, there's. Well, I take that back. On the is it called on the border? There's a Mexican yeah. place called on yeah, the yeah. border. We went to for my birthday last year. We'll never go back there again. Um. The wife had ordered, I think, like the grilled chicken for like chicken fajita, right? Yeah. And she got, uh, like, it wasn't raw chicken, but it was cold, like frozen oh. cold, because it was from a freezer. Like they get chicken, like strips of chicken yeah. from a frozen bag, you know. And I'm like, um, everything there sucked. The only thing that was worth a shit there was the beer. It was cold, so. But we'll we'll never we've never gone back there and we'll probably never go back. Yeah, they they sell their chips and and salsa across. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's good stuff. But you'd figure it'd be good. That's probably why they run the restaurant. It's just the, portion bags. I got a whole bag of their tortilla chips right now. I from oh, Sam's Club. Good. Good. I like those aren't bad. I like the <laughs> yeah. chips, but like yeah, the. the... Daddy, what about you? 
Sweet. There's only one place I will not go, and it's it has nothing to do with the service. It's just the owner of it's Jimmy John's, and I like eating it. And I know it, Wax eats Jimmy John's all the time. I love Jimmy John's, but since I found out that he he would go on um, <laughs> supposedly safaris and hunt, you know, big game, but they would <laughs> they would do something to the thing he was hunting so that he could stand there and shoot it and it's just a big story about him you know miss doing all that stuff and it's just it just turned me off but i just you know whatever i'm not i just don't want to support him so well, we're not going to get it. a jimmy john sponsor now but we might get no a jimmy sponsor. johns go to heck maybe we'll get a PETA sponsor PETA. Can we get Jersey Mike's instead? Because that's so oh, much better yeah. than Jimmy John's. Well, that's Holy another shit. reason, too. I don't well, like have to go there. <laughs> Italian subs. You know, There's Subway so or Jersey Mike's is the best around here. And Subway is yeah. good. Oh, God, so good. I haven't had a Subway in 10 years. Yeah. Oh, we get. That's like, you know, if, hey, if Jersey Mike's isn't available, let's, let's go to Subway, I guess. I am. Yeah, right, well, that, that, that was it for my that. crazy Florida or Ohio story, Josh. What do you have for the crazy news story of the week? Uh, speaking more on the Florida stuff. Who are you calling uh, a moron? So this is uh, what I said. Florida. <laughs> you said Florida. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> speaking more on Florida stuff. <clears throat> no, no, oh, God, that's what, what? you said. <laughs> so the reason why I said it was a more sensible. Uh, incident that's why I picked Ohio is because of things like this so in Florida it ain't the Olympics but a group of a gloop, 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 Eddie gloop, EWI gloop. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. shout out to Eddie um, it ain't the Olympics but a group of Floridians plan to host competitions themed according to the collective antics of the beer loving gator possessing rap sheet heavy mullet wearing social media phenomenon known as florida man the florida man games was that was that pretty epic that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good well thank done. you okay. uh so <laughs> what did I sign up? in the news story here uh by a, another article by the huff post shout out to huff post thanks for all these articles <laughs> right. uh among the contests planned for the next february in saint augustine florida According to organizers, are the evading arrest obstacle course, yeah. in which contestants jump over fences and through yards while being chased by real police officers. Nice. <laughs> the next probably... one, the category five cash grab, in which participants try to grab oh. as much money in a wind blowing booth, and the self explanatory beer belly wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, gotta be like sumo, right? So my question is, what do you think we should add to the Florida games? And since we had a, a past resident of Florida, why don't we start there? <laughs> oh yeah, just me on the spot here. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, um, you should have some good ones down there. How about uh, how about like how to not make a pizza? You know, because oh, all yeah, Florida pizza, pizza is garbage. Florida down there. pizza sucks. <laughs> If anything, they should how to make a pizza. Maybe somebody could take something away from that thing. How to make you know the shittiest I mean? pizza? God, <laughs> I don't know how to how to. Oh, so there's a thing in Florida where it's what was it? It's like the the three two one method or the two or the two two one method when it comes to the lights and uh, like stoplights, right? So. If it's yellow, two cars can go. If it's red, one car can go. So you never, like, whenever you're sitting at a stoplight and you're waiting for yours to turn green, you never go when it turns green because you have to wait for that other car that's coming that's not going to stop at the red light that's going to blow through the intersection and hit you. So you always wait one, one extra second to make sure <laughs> that they're not going through. But if you wait too long, you're going to get honked at sometimes yep. before your light turns green so it's it's always kind of a game of chance as to whether or not you're going to let someone crash into you or deal with someone honking at you 
That's a great addition, a, I think. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a really that's good like addition. I can't remember what they called it. It was like a 2 2 1 or the 3 2 1, or something like that. It was like. Too much math. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the website? <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, Florida I, Man I, Games. The Florida Man Games.com for anybody that wants to yes. check it out. You want to enter it? <laughs> $45 to $145 for tickets. Oh and my it's God. It's in St. Augustine. Oh, There's a mullet sign up. It say, just says mullet sign up. St. Oh, Augustine's yeah. a pretty nice place. Though. It just yeah. says yeah. Why would they do up. that to these people in that area? Did you see the logo? It looks like Josh with a headband. On. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> when I had a beard, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, it's got the sunglasses and the yeah. Okay, all right. All There's right. also Let's the wep- the weaponized pool noodle mud mm-hmm. duel. <laughs> Test your strength inside the Florida Man Games Coliseum, an above ground pool filled with mud. <laughs> nice above they got ground pool filled with mud. nice. Sign up and find the best mullet barber in your town. Compete at the Florida Man Games for the best mullet in all the land. Like everybody, like everybody's going from around the world to go to Florida for the mullet contest. There's some pretty fantastic mullets out there too. Dang it. We'll see like they have on here. You can take a selfie with an alligator, but I'm surprised there's no gator themed events. uh... Like, why don't you have like alligators set up like yeah, horses yeah. so that you can just sit on the alligator like a jockey oh. and race around a racetrack with your alligator. See, the, that should the, be an event. The DNA probably stopped that because it'd be cruelty to the, the, the idiots. <laughs> not the not the gators, just the idiots. There, there's also... There's also one called a catalytic converter, yeah. two bikes, and a handful of <laughs> copper pipes. Race against time. Compete head to head in a race that lets you live a day in the life of a Florida man headline. It's a team. <laughs> That's a team. And it is <laughs> beer belly. Ridiculous. It is beer belly Florida sumo, it says. Yeah. Chicken coop <laughs> bingo. 911 fight night. Brawl of oh, the badges. Man. Oh, and did former you see American who the yeah, the, yeah, the, hey. the the judges of this are former American Gladiators Dan Nitro Clark and Lori Ice Fetrick. I remember them. Nitro and Ice. Yep. He's not as big as he used to be though. I mean, muscle-wise, yeah. he must have been juicy. Missed missed opportunity to get Michael Hearn on there. Currently Seems. the the <laughs> meme of the baby don't hurt me. The guy's face the on the sumo is just funny. His eyes are crossed or something. I don't know if something's biting him down there or what. But I wonder what you got to <laughs> steal. You got to steal pipes. You got to catalytic converter. So you you steal catalytic converter. Are they broadcasting this somewhere? Is this, is this being God, broadcast I somewhere? Because so. I would. Oh I would yeah, love on the Ocho. The Ocho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my yes, God. Man, hey. I know. I read it in uh, Obscure Sports Quarterly magazine that I get every uh, four times a year. But Should yeah. we throw our? I mean, there's a there's a sponsorship section on here. Should we throw a hundred bucks oh. at it and put our name on there? Maybe it'll go, <laughs> maybe it'll go on the yeah. back of their T-shirts or something. That'd be sweet. Awesome. Yeah, you can tell these. By the way, these images that they generated for each of the contests. 100% AI. Oh, yeah. 100%. Look at the Category 5 cash grab. Look at the yeah. guy's face. The guy's face is like, you don't really see the eyes, and his nose is like smeared to the left. <laughs> it's like all smeared. 100% used AI for these. <laughs> yep. I do like and then the, the evading arrest. Oh, the yeah, one, his, they're his. both smiling, but the cop's got a beer in his hand while he's chasing them. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> the okay. catalytic converter picture, his foot is part of the motorcycle. <laughs> I was just gonna say I was gonna say that. That's yeah. Oh my god. He's part motorcycle, yeah. yeah. It's well, incredible. What is upper torso on the steering wheel and I'd be done with it. My god. Yeah, so that's what we get with you. So anybody that wants to compete in the Florida games, go to the Florida Man Games dot com. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that's all I got teams. for that. 
Yeah. Well, they the story, they put a gator on the article. But there's no... No yeah, they have, they have gator themed attractions, but no actual like events involving gators. Yeah. Missed opportunity. Yeah, that's like the, that's the that's the mascot of Florida. I know. Like we got nothing. Uh, Christmas there's with also the cranks. One other one I thought of another game you could do, and this is probably not just in Florida, but it, it was definitely heavy in my neighborhood when I lived in Florida was the leaving your car doors unlocked so that the guys can come through at night and check the handles on all the neighborhood. Like maybe that's what it is, is that you just, they, they send you to a neighborhood and you check to see if any of the handles are unlocked. So oh yeah. Shit out of their cars. That's, the fastest one to get the open yeah. one is the winner. Yeah. That was always a big thing. Which one's the trap car too? Like oh, the trap car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the sting operation or something. Yeah, those trains yeah. are great. <laughs> How about the wife carry? What, did you ever see that? What was it called? PD. It's not. It's like cops, but it's live. Oh, yeah, yeah. Called, uh, I think it's called Live something? PD or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. And they've got like the guy in the news. Like, oh, we're gonna head on over here to. They had Tallahassee live for quite a while and there were like you know fsu students and stuff like that trying to go out and do bad shit so they could be on tv because it was all live oh it's that's, like, that's oh funny. man it's like, i know yeah they had talent tallahassee and uh Georgia, or atlanta was a big one yeah surprisingly that you didn't have detroit as much on i don't know so you can understand why I said Ohio in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that, that makes sense. Sense. <laughs> it wasn't yes. crazy enough. It wasn't crazy. Like, enough. This, yeah. this I know that for wild. next time now. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I actually like that game. I like, and and you don't even have to do just Florida, Ohio. I mean, you could just be like pick a state. You know what I mean? Or it's true. We can I can, get I can mix point. it up. I can throw in other ones. Yeah, like I I like that. That's fun. <laughs> we should keep a running tally. Yeah, I've got Can't, it. I've got the play. Uh, I mean, everybody's play Canada, zero. Canada or Sweden. Oh, <laughs> feel like that why, would be pretty. Why close. Canada or Sweden? They're both polite. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It isn't if I have to ask the question. Uh, Daddy, you got it. They're both so, polite. It's a very like who's more polite in the situation? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Are like the Swedish people polite? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, soft-spoken, very helpful. Yeah. I did not really come over that. here and win Stanley Cups for your team and then go back home. <laughs> this is like Sweden's the Canada oh, wow. of Europe. <laughs> All right. Okay. What about That's Norway? Fair. There you go. Put it on a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that, I think that's about going to wrap us up here. Uh, final thoughts. I think Josh just gave us his. Put that on <laughs> yeah, put it on a t-shirt. Canada <laughs> or Sweden is the Canada of Europe. You're welcome. There you go. We love you, Sweden. <laughs> how, about, how about Wax? You got any final thoughts for us today? I don't know. Not at the moment. I'm no? I'm thoughtless. <laughs> okay. I, I'm I'm my head's just as empty as my as the last six days of my advent calendar. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. But the last one's going to be an Advil. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually, that'd actually that be kind of cool if like, you do like the beer calendar and then you get to the end and it's just a <laughs> bottle of aspirin or something. Mm -hmm. That's just you know, from yeah. Bad Santa. That's when he ate all his candy and he put Oh, see, that's, in. that's the <laughs> that's New Year's Santa. one, Daddy-O. I think you just cracked the, the code. There you, is you have Christmas Day and then from the 26th oh, yeah. until the 31st, yeah. it's all mini <laughs> bottles. And on the 1st, yeah. it's Advil. There you go. There you go. There it is. You got it. Daddy, how about you? Final thoughts? Uh, Well, yeah, there's still lots of uh, movies coming in like that. You know, Bad Santa. And we, yeah, we watched Christmas with the Cranks today, and it's not on a lot. That's that's a pretty good holiday yep. movie, but um, I don't know. I guess. I guess the, uh, the, final, the, the final thing in the Advent calendar should be an Advil or two. Maybe like some saltines. It. So, uh, <laughs> my final thoughts for today: I think we learned a lot about Advent calendars and the state of Florida. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. But that's all we've got for episode five of Smell That. Remember, 
Join the conversation in the comments, wherever it is that you are watching, listening, however you are consuming. We appreciate it. Uh, make sure you're keeping up with all of us from whofartedcrew.com. Tag us everywhere that you possibly can. Ask us questions. Leave us voicemails on the Spotify. Wax. Sign up for the, the mailing list on whofartedcrew.com. There's a good chance that you may get something in the mail from us. Nice. Nice. An another tease. That that should also be my final thoughts. A lot of teases on this one. Yeah, we're edging today. Exactly. Oh, yeah, straight <laughs> edging. Hell yeah. No, no. Sorry. All right, we. I, I gotta wrap it up on that. Say, that's say the thing. That's say it. the thing. So until say next time, keep ripping them, and don't tell anyone it was you. Peace.